Hi, I'm George, and let's make a custom texture pack here for Minecraft 1.17. And we'll start off with one of those textures in the background. Right now I'm standing on Deep Slate. Looks real nice. I like the look of Deep Slate, but in behind us there is what's called Tough. I don't like that one so much. Let's take a look at that. This is right down here. It's okay, but it's not great. I think we can do better than that on that particular texture. And we'll use that to show how to make a texture pack. Okay, we'll be using a program called Paint.net to edit that texture. Let's switch over there right now. I will start my packs in a new folder. I have one here on my C drive I call Packs right there. And in here I have that PNG file for Tough and also another image here for the rock. Let's now open up Paint.net. Okay, here we are inside of Paint.net. I'll show you how to do the customization first, and then I'll show you where to find the files if you want to go ahead and use the exact same files. And I'll also show you how to build the resource pack once we get this thing all set to go. Okay, now Paint.net is a free program. There's a download link for that in the description. And we need two files. Here is the tough.png. This is out of Minecraft. And then I have another picture over here. This is a rock picture. We'll be using this to make the tough picture better. Now to get your pictures into Paint.net, it's real easy. Just drag and drop just like that and click on open and there we go those are both of the two files but right hand corner we can zoom into this a little bit get it larger you can see that there we go okay that's pretty good now these are individual pixels in here as you can see so we need to make this a larger image and for that go up here to image come down to resize and want to increase our pixel size but first set the resampling up here to nearest neighbor that keeps everything sharp and in focus now down here we'll set this up a couple of steps doubling it once is 32 one more time is 64, so we'll do 64 by 64, choose OK. And let's just zoom back out a little bit so that fits and get that back in our screen area here. There we go, that's good. Now, over here I have a picture of some rock and we'll combine this with a picture from Minecraft. Now, this is much too big, this is just a regular photo, so it's much too large. We need to bring this size down. Go up to Image again, come down to Resize, and in here, make sure you're still on Nearest Neighbor, and then bring this down for the height Set the height at 64 and choose OK. There we go. The height is now the same size as that other picture. I'm now going to select everything in here. So that's edit, select all, and then edit copy. We can now go over here to this new file and then edit, we want to paste into new layer. And on this one, keep canvas size. And there we go. It just pastes the one picture on top of the other picture. Now we're only seeing that new picture here. We're not seeing the old picture yet. So we need to blend this into the other picture. And that's easy to do. Go over here to our layers. The background there, this is the original image which we resized. And here's our new image on top. Double click on this layer. And that brings up the layer properties box right here. We can now change the blend mode. And there are a lot of things you can do in here just by changing this blend mode. It kind of combines the two together. And the one I want to use here is called Reflect, right there, and choose OK. It's kind of a sparkly look on that. Let's now zoom back out of this just a bit, see how this thing looks. So it'll be kind of like that. And let's do Edit and Deselect. So it'll be kind of like this in the game. Let's hide that layer. There's the original, and there is our new, a lot more sparkly and interesting. Okay, that's all set to go. Let's now save this out. Go up here to File, come down to Save. Now it's going to save it here as a paint.net file first. That's a good idea to go ahead and do that because then you can come back and work with your layers if you want to in the future. So I'll choose Save. That's our backup copy. And then File, Save As. And let's change this now down to the PNG file. There is the original. Choose Save. It's going to ask us to overwrite that. Choose Yes and OK. And you need to flatten that. Click on Flatten. And there we go. That's now saved out as our PNG file. Okay, let's now switch over to the desktop. I'll show you where I got those files initially, and let's build that resource pack. Okay, whenever I'm making a resource pack here for Minecraft, I was working a new folder. I have in here called Packs. I just made this on my C drive. And here's our updated image. There's that rock image. Let's now see where you can first get these two images, and then let's build that into a resource pack. Now the new rock picture here, I get this from a website called Pixabay. It's a good free stock photo site. Let me bring that up for you so you can see that. Here we go, pixabay.com. I did a search in here for photos like that. I just did a search for rock textures and then hit the enter key. And there's a lot of stuff in here you could choose from. A lot of great textures. That's kind of nice. I almost used this one over here. It's a little more subtle. That's a bit more exaggerated. Again, these are all free to use and they're easy to just download and you're all set to go. Okay, so that's where I found that new rock texture. Let's get that out of the way. Now let's see where we found the original Tough PNG file. And for that, let's bring up the Minecraft launcher and then go up into installations. And right here, here's the latest release. Right now I'm in 117.1. Click on that folder icon 
And this brings up the Minecraft folder. In here, come down where it says versions, and you want to find the latest release version right there. Again, 117.1 at the moment, so I'll go inside of this, and you want to have that jar file right there. If you don't see the jar file, the .jar part of that, go up to view, and over here where it says Fundam Extensions, click on that, and you should then see that .jar. We can then copy that over. So here's our Minecraft folder. Here's the working folder. I'm just going to right drag this over here and copy. There we go, we can close this down. We'll come back to that in just a bit. Now we need to open this thing up. Easy way is just to click into the name here and then type over jar and change that to zip. Hit the enter key and then click on yes. It's now just a zip file. We can right click on this and I'm going to open it in a new window. Now in here, go into assets, Go into Minecraft, go into textures, and then into block. There's our path right up here. Let's change the view here to icons. And if we scroll way down, this is tough, T-U-F-F, -F, and it's a PNG file. It's right down here. There we go. And I just right drag that over here to give me the file to work on. So that's where the rock texture came from. That's also where that tough PNG came from. That's all taken care of. Now I need to build a resource pack in here. We'll recreate this path right here. You can see it. There it is. So first make a new folder, Assets, go into Assets, and then a new folder, this is going to be Minecraft, go into Minecraft, new folder, Textures, there we go, go into Textures, new folder, Block, there it is, let's go back here to our Packs folder, so this file here, the tough.png, our new file, goes into that Blocks folder. Easy way is just to right click and copy, and then navigate all the way in, and then right click and paste. There it is, all set to go. Let's go ahead and change that to icons. Okay, that's all set up. Now we need two more files to finish this off. We need to pack MC Metafile and also a pack PNG. Now the pack PNG, you can find that right over here inside of this zip file, but we also need that pack MC Meta. That hasn't been included yet in 117. So for that, we're gonna go and get a different file. I'm gonna close this one down here. We can get rid of this if you want to, just hit the delete key and get rid of that zip file. Let's go back up here to Installations, back to that folder right here, back into Versions, and then go back one version. So I have my 16.5 version right here. Let's just bring this up, bring this up here, go into 116.5, and again, copy the jar file out, right drag it over here and copy. There we go. I'm now done with that. Same thing as before, let's change that jar to a zip, choose Yes. Right click, open in new window. And this gives you this big long list in here. And if I scroll way down, right down here, it's in the P section. There we go. Pack MC Meta and Pack PNG. Right drag both of those over here and copy. We need both of those two files. All right. Now the Pack PNG, this is just a square image. You can use any square image you want. This is 128 by 128 PNG. I'll occasionally use my own picture here. And if I do that, I'll use a 256 by 256 PNG file. But that's all it is. You can just leave that as is unless you want to have your own custom image. Now, Pack MC Meta, we need to edit this. I like editing mine in a program called Notepad. It's also a free program, and there's a link for that in the description. Open this one up. Here we go. Now, there are two things we need to do in here. First, we need to change that 6 to a 7 because 117 is now Pack Format 7. And then let's just change the name up here. Make sure you keep those quotation marks and that comma. Only change the words in here. I'll call it Texture Pack 117, so I know what it is. And then save, that's done. And we can now build the resource pack. All we need is that Assets folder, hold the Control key down, get the Pack MC Meta and the Pack PNG. Go over here to Share, click on Zip, there we go. I'll call it New Texture 1.17, and that's all set to go. Okay, now we need to get this into the game. Let's go back over here to Installations again. Let's go back to that folder again. This time, go over here, it says Resource Packs, open this up, and in here, we're going to simply drag and drop that zip file right up here. There we go. It's now in the game. Okay, we can get these out of the way. Back to play. Let's now play this, and then we'll activate that new Resource Pack. Okay, here we are at the title screen. Come down to Options, Resource Packs. You should see your new pack on the left-hand side here is New Texture 117. That's the one. Click at that arrow. It's now over here on the right-hand side. So it's now been installed into the game and it's ready to go. Choose Done. And we'll then go ahead and launch into the game and see how that looks. Choose Done again. And single player. Here we go. Okay. Looking up the hallway. Let's take a look down. And there we go. There's that nice new texture. And I think that's a lot more interesting than the original tough texture that came 
with the new 117th update. So there you go. That's how to make a custom texture pack and also how to edit custom textures here in Minecraft 117. And I'll see you next time.